in Chicago. Once again, my name is Tyler Christian. I'm so happy to be with you today. Come on, y'all, let's rock out. Rock me out. I don't want you guys to like break your necks on the punk sounding song, but I kind of want you to break your necks on the yes, punk sounding song. Yes, I'm so glad you said that. You know what I mean? Like, like it's like the <laughs> the rock, like the strumming pattern is very much Blink 182. We need more band moments there. I think it's. I think once like they get more comfortable with special, it's a new song. Yeah, I know it's very new. new. Too, right. I think when they get more comfortable with it, hopefully like Armie was was jumping a lot. Yeah. And if Miguel and Liam can jump, that would be really awesome. Yeah. Since you were mentioning how like it's hard for you to like talk naturally on stage, if you like prep them, you don't have to memorize them like a script, but like certain points that you want to hit after certain songs that might help you. It's one thing to read a book or attend a lecture, which I have no problem with either of those. It's another thing to be sort of thrown into the fire, which is the very fire known as the music industry that they're going to go into once they graduate, and to kind of figure it out as they go and learn as they go. It's not just that experience, but it's the partnerships we have with the live music community. It was a New York City conference called Billboard Touring Conference. It wasn't very big at that point. This one panel was, what's new at the festivals? Lollapalooza is having its 20th anniversary. We're going to have a stage called Kids of Palooza. So I went up to Jones and I said, hey, Charlie, I'm from Berklee College of Music and I can add an academic component to Kids of Palooza. To this day, I don't even know why I said that because I didn't even really know what it meant. <laughs> And I gave him my business card, and he goes, that sounds like a great idea. I'll take your card, I gotta go get a plane. I go, okay, that's the last time I see this guy. A couple weeks later, my phone rings, it's Charlie Jones. He says, tell me about your idea. I contacted a good friend of mine who was also involved in Berkeley, who was in the live music, his name is Jerry Baird. I first met Jeff Garfield in 1978, or Sammy, he was working for Sammy Hagar. I just started getting the concert business in Vancouver, and he played the Commodore Bar. That's where I met him. I said, you mean we can teach these people and create a course from scratch that'll teach them how to tour? Sign me up right now. Now I'm here. Now I'm in for that part of it. And that's how it basically started. And this kept growing from there. Then we, you know, we had that, we had added essence, we had outside lands, so the whole concept of all of it was that we have it as a three semester program. This is the final rehearsal before we head out to Lala, so it's an exciting one, but it's also really crucial that we're focused and we're on point and we're giving the feedback that we need to make Tala the best performance possible. There are a lot of moving parts. We're trusting in the process and hopefully everything will run smoothly, but there are a lot of things that maybe might, we might have like several technical difficulties and things like that that we're hoping to avoid. Other than that, it should go well, I think. This is why I don't like technology. <laughs> I do like it. Once when it works, I like it. Wait, time to transition. Can I sign to one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, on the tour management side, it's all about like building the itinerary, making making sure everyone knows what's going on on the day of, and like leading up to it. It all falls on me if <laughs> something bad happens because I'm responsible of like the scheduling and getting everyone places. So Tyler is a solidified performer, so. We're just continuing to hone on on the performance and also, you know, get in touch with the band and the dancers to make sure they're up to par. So we just have a well-rounded performance. We are here. <laughs> Today we're here in Lollapalooza setting up everything. We've been here since 7 a.m. so all of us are super exhausted. My role is tour manager. So I've been literally just running around, finding people, 
Anything Morgan tells me to do, I'm on. Um, I'm in charge of the schedule and everything, so I'm just trying to get everyone together and make sure everyone is in the right place. We're trying to do a lot of stuff that actually hasn't been done in BPMI before with the visuals and there are potentially things that could go wrong because technology sometimes can fail you. So hopefully everything will work out well. I have faith, but that would probably be my one concern of the day. I do think Tyler's gonna kill it. They've been practicing a lot. The dancers are right now rehearsing in the dressing room. Everything is looking really, really good and clean. So we'll see. Oh, was so amazing. Based on like the rehearsals, I believe it's like the best run they've ever done. It was literally on the stage at Lollapalooza. I was so proud of everybody. Everybody seemed like they were having fun on stage. It felt really good. The audience was great. Tyler's band was the one that had the most like tracks. There was just so many technical aspects of it and everyone in Tyler's band, as somebody that goes to Berkeley, is like the best of the best. Like they're all so intelligent. They know what they're doing. They're so professional. Like everybody in BPMI can vouch these people in Tyler's band. We're currently at the media tent and Tyler just performed at the Bacardi stage. So now we're just getting some press and media from any news editors or articles that wanna talk to Tyler. This is like such a one of a kind program. And it's just like anyone who is in that program just really wants to help artists shine. My team this year was like so great, best possible experience and they're all like wonderful people. freaking out because she got this email from Music Midtown basically saying, hey, I don't think we ever received that artist from you. We need that by Friday. Music Midtown just hit us up and they said, we have a, a show to do. And I'm like, Edward, 